Hi there, I'm Carlo. I manage product for Formative. And for those of you who know Formative, welcome. Welcome back. For those of you who don't know Formative, Formative is an all-in-one platform that allows you to create and distribute interactive tech-enhanced activities. Whether you're digitizing a PDF, importing a lesson, or collaborating with your PLCs on common assessments, we put the technology at your fingertips to create the content you need from bell ringers to benchmarks. All this in a platform that shows student work progress and results in real time while giving them feedback along the way. Over the past year or two, we've built a host of AI tools to better support our teachers. Whether it's passage or item creation, hint generation, answer choice explanations, those are just student facing distractor rationales, practice sets or feedback generation, we've weaved AI into formative in a way that puts you, the teacher at the forefront. But one of the biggest things we've heard is that Formative does so, so much that teachers really want a way to create and hone activities from start to finish and a more curated or guided experience. Which brings us to today. We're so, so excited to bring Luna, an all new chat experience for our teachers to Formative in addition to the already existing AI functionality. Introducing the ability to chat with Luna. Let's see what Luna can do. Okay, here I am on my formative homepage and I'm going to click to create an activity. You'll see I can choose from a formative, a lesson, a practice set, a common assessment. I'm just gonna choose formative for now. You can see that I have the ability to add my own questions. If I wanna start from scratch, you can choose from any of our 25 plus question types. Uh, you can upload your own content. You can search a library of content or item banks. You can import from Google Drive, but you also have the option to create with Luna. So I'm gonna create with Luna. Luna's gonna say, welcome to Formative. I'm your AI assistant, ready to help you build amazing learning experiences. What's your goal for today? And let's do two things. We'll start with an icebreaker, something that might be applicable to all of us as the school year starts and we're trying to get to know our students. I'll tell Luna, it's the start of the school year and I just wanna ask my students some questions to get to know them better. I want about seven survey style questions, mostly open-ended. We'll give Luna a chance to respond and think here. And there they go. Great. Here are a few clarifying questions to help me tailor the survey. Are there specific topics you want to include in the survey, like hobbies, learning preferences, or science interests? That's really cool. Luna knows I'm a science teacher because Luna's pulling from my profile. Let's ask about science interests. And then the second question is, would you like to include any multiple choice or selection questions or should they all be open-ended? Oh, that's a great question. I think for this one, because it's more a get to know you activity, I'm okay if they're all open-ended. And the third question is, is there anything particular you want to learn about your students to help with their teaching? Um, maybe ask them about their learning preferences and styles. All right. Let's send that over to Luna and let's see what Luna comes up with here for us. Luna's busy at work crafting the questions as you can see here. And there you go. Great, let's create a survey that explores your student science interests and learning preferences. Here's a draft. So before we add it to the formative, Luna's just gonna ask me to confirm. What excites you most about science? If you could explore any scientific topic or question, what would it be and why? Describe a cool science fact or discovery you know and I think this is great. Luna is also offering to add a nice little header image and I'm gonna say, add it. I'm happy with this. And as soon as I say add it, Luna is gonna go to work behind the scenes. You'll see them adding the title, updating this formative header. You'll start to see questions populating over here as Luna gets to work and yep, there you go. We see the title come in. We see a nice header image appear here and you can see over here the questions popping in as Luna adds them to our particular formative. From here, you're a click away to assigning this and getting this information back on your students. And that's really special because all of this happens in one platform. You're not generating over here and taking it over there. So from here, I can click to assign and simply assign it to guest students, to any of my classes and go from there. So this was a great example of maybe something more applicable at the start of the school year, but let's kind of shift gears a little bit and pretend like we're starting a new unit a new science unit. And I'm gonna ask Luna to help me understand what my students might struggle with the most as we move into this unit. Just like last time, I'm gonna create a formative and I'm gonna to choose to create with Luna. 
and I'm going to say, I'm about to start a unit on 3-PS2-1, motion and stability, forces and interactions. Will you make a quiz to help me understand what my students might struggle with the most? We'll send that over to Luna. And there you go. Luna asks us a few clarifying questions. Are there specific concepts within forces and interactions that you'd like to focus on? That's a great question because it's a pretty large topic. Let's say balanced and unbalanced forces. And then second question was, have your students already learned anything about this topic or are they starting from scratch? Um, assume they're starting from scratch. You can see I have a misspelling here, but luckily Luna is very gracious. Luna doesn't care when we misspell words. Last question is, are there any common misconceptions you've noticed in the past about forces and interactions? And for this, I'm just gonna say nothing specific, but I think you all can kind of see where this is going and use your imagination as you're filling this in with information about your students. Nothing specific. Okay, let's give Luna a chance to think here. Busy behind the scenes and creating a plan for a quiz on balanced and unbalanced forces. Adding a description. And this is all just Luna working behind the scenes right now and then it'll pop in with prettier formatting and there we go. Um, and let's take a look at some of these questions. What happens to an object when balanced forces are acting on it? Uh, the object starts moving, incorrect, okay. These are pretty good, true, false, a short answer question. A ma oh, a matching question, that's great. Match the scenarios with the type of force. I like that. That gives me an idea before we start making this and adding these. Let's ask to use more advanced question types. Can you use more advanced question types like drag and drop, categorize, and resequence? And then let's throw Luna a curveball because let's have a little fun with this and let's ask Luna to theme the whole formative with dinosaurs and make the formative dinosaur theme. There we go. Let's see what happens. All right. So there Luna goes to work making a dinosaur themed formative. You can see there's some, this is all just kind of behind the scenes, Luna getting to work and then we'll see it coming in. Dinosaur theme forces quiz. Uh, here's a couple questions, drag and drop. All right. Uh, balanced forces, unbalanced forces, dinosaur running away, dinosaur statue in a museum. That's kind of a fun way to think about it, right? Categories of effects of forces on a dinosaur scene. Okay, dinosaur standing still, in stable flight. These are all kind of fun dinosaur themed questions. Um, and let's go ahead and do it. Add, add it. And then we should see Luna busy at work here behind the scenes. Luna already did the title and header for us, which is great. And now Luna's dropping the questions in there for us. So we have a, I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Luna is still gonna work behind the scenes for us, adding these questions. You'll see we have a nice categorized question here about balanced and unbalanced forces themed with dinosaurs or themed with whatever you uh, think appropriate for your students. And again, just to hammer the point home, all in the same platform that you can assign this and get real time data back on your students. And that's really where some of this magic happens, right? Because it's not just this creation of the content, it's how this content enables you to give feedback to your students, to gather data back on your students, um, and to respond to your students if they have questions or feedback to you along the way. All right, um, I hope this was a helpful demo for you of what Luna can do for you in Formative. Uh, we're very excited about Luna. We hope you're excited as well. We actually demoed Luna the other day to a group of formative power users, and it was really fun to see their reaction along the way. One of the teachers, when we showed them the icebreaker, was just super pumped saying, you know, icebreakers are pretty easy to make, but I still would have spent 30 minutes of my time trying to create something like that. Um, but you can do it here within five seconds and assign it to your class in another two seconds and be on your way. Thank you all so, so much. Uh, we can't wait to see what you create and what sort of learning experiences you craft with Luna for your students and take care.